All right, a new year, which means a new opportunity to get disappointed at the end of the year when you look at these lists, because I'm always missing at least one entry, but that's how it goes. Hello, my brothers, my name is Adarius, and welcome to my manga wish list of 2024. Now, before we get to the actual list, I just want to take a very brief look at last year's list, mostly because I almost managed to complete it. So if we bring the first list up here, you can see I'm only missing two series. One is Diago the Galactic Patrol, which I guess at this point might as well be considered my white whale because it is never in print. I think this refuses to just bring it back into print, so I might have to get a stink at hand. Not really a fan of it, but I'm also not opposed to it. Anywho, it has been on this list forever. And then the other one is Fire Punch, which has also been on this list forever. I did not manage to get all eight volumes, but I did manage to get the first six, which is a huge steal because that means I'm actively collecting it. I'm only missing two volumes, but that is this page. I got almost all of it. But if you go on to the next page, I actually managed to get all of it, which is a huge steal for me because I never, I believe, managed to get a full page on my wish list. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> I don't manage to do it. It was awesome, and hopefully I could do the same this year. But that is the 2023 list. Let's go on to the 2024 list. So instead of me just pretending like I can remember everything from the top of my head, I'm just going to go by the list I've made on my phone. And we are going to start off with the continuations. And spoiler alert, 90% of my 2024 list is going to be continuations of manga I'm already actively collecting. But it's always a good idea to have a list where you keep overview of what are you active collecting, what have you actively collected already from those series. But anyway, let's start from the top, shall we? So first of all, Fire Punch, volume seven and eight, I need to transfer those from 2023 on to 2024. The same goes with Jacko the Collector Patrolman. But of other series, we have Soul Eater, the perfect edition, I'm guessing because they don't announce it, so I'm always guessing, but I'm guessing we're going to get four volumes this year. And we usually get four volumes a year, so that will be volume 13 up until volume 16. I'm going for those. And also this year, we are actually going to get a, another perfect edition from the Soul Eater universe, which is Soul Eater Not. Only the first volume has been announced. So I'm only putting that on my list, but I believe there exist three in total in Japan. So we will get three volumes total. If we get all of them this year, I have no idea. I mean, I hope, but I have no idea. Then we have my Manhwa solo leveling. Last year was a slow year. We only got two volumes, volume six and volume seven of the Manhwa. So, by that metric, this year, I'm just gunning for two, volume eight and nine of Soul Living. Hopefully we'll get a lot more. I mean, pick up the pace, the series is done. Just get it into print format. But I'm putting two on there. If you get more, nice. If not, if two will do, I guess. Next one is Mashal. I believe there's 18 volumes in total of Mashal. It is finished, it is done, but considering you mostly get four a year. I'm going for volume 14 up until volume 17. Maybe this will squeeze out one more this year, but if not, that's fine. That's totally fine. So volume 14 to volume 17 of Mashal. Then we get to Record of Ragnarok. Again, we usually get four volumes each year. So I am gunning for volume nine up until volume 12. Mind you, there's 18 or 19 volumes out total in Japan right now, so really want this to kind of pick up the pace a bit. We don't have to catch up totally, but two or three volumes behind would be awesome. But anywho, volume 9, I want to say volume 12. Then, Kaiju number 8, we are more or less caught up with the Japanese volumes. So this year, I think, I mean, we have had announced that volume 9 and volume 10 will be released but if we're gonna be able to get volume 11 i'm not sure actually i kind of doubt it i hope 
but I doubt it. So I'm only putting volume 9 and 10 on my list. But if more gets released, of course, I will buy more. Then we have Jujutsu Kaisen. Last year, I managed to caught up, catch up actually. So, I mean, one volume just got released with volume 21. But besides that, I'm just gonna buy what comes out, I think from volume 21 up until volume 23 is what we're gonna get this year. But again, if we manage to get 24, I will also buy that one. Then Fist of the North Star, we are getting close to the end. By the end of this year, we should have up until volume 14, and then next year it will wrap it up with the final four volumes of the series. It should be 18 in total. I hope so. But yes, volume 11 up until volume 14. And what I'm looking most forward to, besides reading the story, of course, is to see the Great Dipper be formed with the blood spatter and the spines. It looks awesome right now, but we're still missing a few blood spatters. Who is looking forward to see blood spatters? Me, I guess. We also have Chainsaw Man. Part 2 is now actively being released with volume 12 and volume 13 just dropped. I haven't managed to get it yet. So this year I'm thinking we're gonna get from volume 13 up until volume 16, which should be no problem. That is out right now, at least in Japan. So I'm hoping we're getting up until volume 16. Otherwise I'm gonna look like a fool at the end of the year, but it wouldn't be the first time. Of course, my big boy, Rooster Fighter. Last year we only got two volumes. I'm guessing the same this year. I mean, they have already been announced, volume five and volume six. And also again, the series is quite new. There's not a lot of volumes out in Japan. I think volume seven or volume eight has just dropped. So <laughs> there's not a lot to get from, but volume five and volume six are coming out. I'm looking so much forward to reading that series. It is stupidly fun. So then, Hulk. I've gotten the first six volumes. I'm hoping we'll get the next five. I can't remember if we're gonna have 11. Or 13 volumes I think it's 11 and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get that this year because it seems like this more or less are going for a release every other month with Hulk and then we're gonna have Alice in Borderland again I'm not sure what gonna be released this year I'm two volumes behind right now but it seems like we're gonna get up until volume 10 so that's four volumes this year. Volume seven, up on volume 10, I should collect this year. Then we have Black Clover. Again, I'm only guessing here, volume 34, I think, has just dropped. And it doesn't seem like we are getting a volume each three months. So by guesstimate, I'm guessing we're gonna get up to volume 36 this year. So my plan is to catch up fully with Black Clover. So if we get 36 volume this year, it's going to be from volume 24 up until volume 36, which is 12 volumes. So I mean 13 technically. So if I just manage to get one volume each month, I will catch up kind of like I did last year. And that is very much manageable, which I like. I like it a lot. And then we have Pokemon Adventures, Black 2 and White 2. I am missing the final two volumes. There's only four volumes in that series. Of course, I'm getting those. I'm also getting all of the six volumes of Pokemon X and Y. They have released them in this new Thigger edition. Yes, there exists a box set where you can get 12 or even more very thin volumes. You have to be able to get them for years, five or six years or even more. But it's only recently that this has taken those, I think they call them pocket versions, pocket editions. These volumes that are like 70 or 80 pages thick. If you know your manga volumes, you know that's not a lot. They're usually 180 pages. So they take those and then they put them together to match up with the original Japanese volume release. And then of course, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are also getting released this year. Those thin volumes also exist, but again, they're making them into the normal ones. I think, I mean, they have only announced the first volume, but I think we're gonna get three this year. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. So basically, I'm gonna be finally caught up with Pokemon Adventures. 
I've been collecting Pokemon Adventures since 2020. So actually, mm, next month, I think February will be my four year anniversary of collecting Pokemon Adventures. So it took me four years to be caught up, but I'm going for it. And also, Jojo Part 6 is getting released this year. Yes, technically it got released last year, but you know, Christmas is expensive, so I was postponing the more expensive volumes. Now this is upping the ante of the release, so we are getting one volume every two months, which is awesome, which means we're gonna get six volumes of Stone Ocean this year, which is awesome. Um, mostly because that means that next year only at summer will be done it will be it everything will be out and we can i think there's only gonna be nine volumes i think it's pretty similar to part four and five in length and then we're gonna get on to steel bar run which i'm looking very much forward to i heard a lot of great things about part seven other things that are new additions there are not a lot but there are a few because it can only not only be i'm catching up i also want to add new things because i'm weird like that otherwise i get bored during a year if i only catching up on old series i already own i have part of i also want some new stuff you have to be careful with those things but okay there are a few one of them i have already spoiled last year that is trigon the deluxe editions it was supposed to come out in december but then it got postponed to march or april so I have a pre-order for it, but I am gunning for getting that this year. And also Trigon Maximum, we're going to get those in Deluxe Editions as well. And I think only the first two Deluxe Editions has been announced. And usually Dark Horse only releases three of a given series each year. So Trigon Maximum 1 and 2. Another series I'm looking very much forward to is Colorless. I'm going to get the first four volumes. The reason I'm not catching up or committing to catching up is because there's a lot of volumes on this list <laughs> that I'm gunning for. So if I manage to catch up, I think there's eight or nine volumes out right now, then fine, but it's not a commitment. And then we're gonna finish off with three more shonens. Those are the final shonens that I have not read yet that I'm really wanting actually to collect because I also haven't collected the boxes of one piece i have all of naruto i have not collected my hero academia even though i'm reading that there are other series i want to collect but of these shonen titles i'm talking about the elusive samurai i'm committing to the first six volumes there are more out but i'm committing to the first six for the same reason as i stated before another one is sakamoto days i'm committing to the first 10 volumes and that's mostly because i love john wick sakamoto is just john wick retired but with more padding, basically. And finally, we have Dan Dan Dan. I'm committing to the first six volumes. I've only heard crazy things about this. People are saying it is one of the most insane mangas out there. The art style is fantastic. The fights are fantastic. And it's just bonkers. And me being a fan of Jodo's Bizarre Adventure, of course, I want a bonkers series. So that is my manga wish list of 2024. So let's just quickly bring up the list here. So this is the first page, which is most of the normal continuations I'm going for this year. The only Joker is still Jaco the Galactic Patrolman. <laughs> but besides that, I should, if everything goes well with the release dates and such, I should be able to execute all of these. And then this is more of a Joker, especially the last three because those are new editions, four actually, those are new editions specifically. But I'm hoping that this is gonna be the year when I manage to actually complete all of it. But we'll see, we'll see. So that is my manga wishlist of 2024. I'm looking very much forward to start crossing these out throughout my whole through this year. But I'm also looking forward to see your manga wishlist and also if there is any new releases that I missed that you think I should check out. So, what does your manga wishlist look like? Whatever it looks like, comment below and me your thoughts. And as always, until I see you in the next video, remember to stay awesome. See ya.